Hey guys, so we're walking again. Isaiah, say hi. Mm -hmm. Well, but anyways, we're not going to walk too much today because he hurt his toe yesterday, like on a box. So I'll probably end up having to carry him back on the way back. So, but oh my God, guys, it feels so good out here. And like, um, it's really uh, cooler than what it normally is. So. The wind's blowing, leaves are falling. Makes you feel good coming outside. So, let's see. What can we talk about today? So, as far as, like, me drinking, like, staying away from the Cokes and stuff, I've been doing good on that. Just been drinking water. Um, there's a squirrel. Ever now and again, I'll take a few sips of Coke, but I don't have a whole one, so. I don't know, they're just too sweet these days for me. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's okay, but I've been, I sort of been bad this weekend. I've had several sweets, so I'm kinda, I'm kinda scared to see how much I'm gonna weigh tomorrow. But oh well. Got, you, I mean, you gotta have some junk food every now and again in your life, right? So basically, and I haven't, this is the first time I've walked, so. But it feels good out here. Look at these leaves on the ground. So speaking of leaves, guys, get a good look. Anyway, speaking of leaves, this Sunday, yesterday actually, I had to teach Sunday school because, like, I'm sort of like a Sunday school teacher anyways, but I'm more so, I'm more so of a helper. I don't really do a whole lot of speaking and stuff because, I don't know, it's just different for me. But anyways, I helped this lady, Tina, that um, does it, and she, she was out uh, of church Sunday, so I had to take her place. So normally we go by books and stuff, but... To me, when I do stuff, I feel I do what's on my heart or what God gives me. So, um, for some reason, I wanted to do it on the seasons of, like, fall and, like, how, you know, it was like, what was the, I had it labeled out. Look at these flowers. I think they're morning glories. But anyways, it was like, I can't remember the title, but it was like, Seasons change and like unchanging God or something like that. And here comes the freaking train. Great. Here we go. compared to what he thought I should be. Which I do get that a lot. There's some walkers back there. I said walkers, that reminds me of the walking dead. But yeah, there's people walking today. I don't know if y'all can see them. But anyway, so we were, that was the title and the subject for Sunday school. And it's funny how, um, you know, you could take something as simple as a lesson for, you know, little kids, any, the ages is from like anywhere from three up to like eight. What son? Or no, it's three to nine. Three to nine, yeah. Huh? Yeah, here in a minute, but we're gonna go. Well, let's go this way. Wow. Because we're gonna take a shortcut. But anyways, um. 
it's it's interesting and I'm thankful how God took and used that little Sunday school lesson because Isaiah that little Sunday school lesson and it really like ministered to my heart too as well so like I love how God works but anyways we discussed about I started off like I asked the kids what's your favorite um, you know season some of them said winter some of them said fall some of them said spring which mine I think mine would be spring because I like seeing all of the pretty flowers bloom and like the birds come out that's been out for you know cooped in during the winter time I just there's just something refreshing about spring to me and then some of them was like winter because summer's too hot and you know so so and so forth you okay be careful Isaiah okay sorry I can't see nothing here but anyways um but some of them had different um opinions and he sort of fell and scuffed his hand up all of them Come on, you don't need to be on that, Isaiah. Come on. Come over here with Mommy. He is so accident prone like I am. Like, I'm so clumsy. And then you... Anyways, I'm getting so um, sidetracked because there's too much out here going on. Come on. You want me to carry you? Okay, give me your hand. We're going this way. Come on. Well, let's cross the street. Go ahead. And can you tell it's Monday? I'm all. Come on. Let me recollect my train of thought here. Okay, so I asked them that. And then here comes the dogs. And then I asked them, like, what was their worst season? Like, you know, summer, spring, fall. All of them had different um, opinions. And then... Which I had a few, like, Bible verses and stuff. And I told them, you know... You can tell today's Monday. It's just hectic and crazy. Here, come here and I'll carry you. You want me to? Okay. But anyways, um, I told them that even, even in the good times and the bad times of the season in their life, that shame you can't walk down the street and take without the critters. Shlord, I know it, Tyn. It's just... If I go the other way, there's dogs loose, so at least they're in a cage. God, I get tired of hearing I hear it all the time. I bet that drives you nuts, don't it? Yeah, there's a noise law. I can complain, but I won't. How many of them are there? Seven. Oh, my. Swell, hon. You have a good day. Right, you too. Slow down, Isaiah. Okay, so how to pause it? That guy stopped me back there. Um, Lord, I don't even know if I'm going to get this subject out, what I'm trying to get out to you today. It's crazy. All right, come on. Um, but anyway, so I talked to them about how even in like the winter time, the summer time, fall time, whenever, during the seasons, which I explained it better. I'm just giving y'all input to it that even during those times there's a purpose and there's a, a beautiful meaning behind all of those seasons and I, I discussed like why is it that way and like you know all this kind of stuff and then I proceeded to talk to him about um, you know how sometimes in our life we're happy we're, and then sometimes in our life we're sad and I'm like you know during that time it's not going to last forever because life it's sort of like a roller coaster. We go through things for a season. Seasons change. And just like in our life, we change. Family changes, friends change. But most of all, guys, guess what? Man up above never changes. So that's just a little something that was on my heart. And it like 
it spoke to my heart as well and i'm just thankful that just by doing a little sunday school lesson it um brought peace to my heart and i got to help the little kids to you know teach them about the seasons and how stuff in your life may change but in the end it's all going to work out because you know we've got a man up above that is there for us and he never changes so anyways that's that and i'm sorry about all of the hustle back there but guys it's a mindy and stuff like that happens you know so and when you get to moving you start getting hot so i'm getting hot now i'll tell you i'm getting on my back Okay, I think he got up too early this morning. Don't go off in there, you'll fall, son. Come on. We'll go look at the birds. You want to, come on, I'll carry you where you won't get hurt anymore. You can get on my back. Well, be, be easy. <laughs> I think his toes hurting him too, is why he's... Okay, hang on a minute. Sit right here. Hang on to my shirt. Hang on one second, guys. 